What's going on everybody? My name is Papa Silverstein. Silverstein? And today I wanted to give you the most American intro I ever ow I ever possibly could. And that's because today is the most American day in the world. And that's voting day. So I guess we're not really able to be up here technically, but I drive such an American motor vehicle. Like how can anybody be mad at me? How could you ever be mad? You see this steering wheel? Could you be mad? No, you couldn't. Johnny, rise and shine, buddy! So today is election day, and your boy Papa Kleb is heading to the polls. Basically what happened is I requested a mail ballot like two months ago, and it just never showed up. So today I'm gonna be going in and I'm gonna be voting, and I guess I'm gonna make a video about it. I don't know, I've never went in to vote before, so I don't know what it's gonna be like. I'm doing it the old fashioned way, and we're heading to the puppy poll right now. All right, we're here, this is it. There's a sign that says go vote right there, but there's no freaking way to get in there. I'm kind of worried that I'm gonna go in here right now and there's gonna be something that I need that I just don't have. Like I said, I've always voted by mail. Like, I don't know, man, let's go give it a shot though. Ugh. You know what there's nothing better than? You wanna know the only thing better than just voting? That's voting and then walking out of the voting booth and walking into your most American car in the world, the Papa Prius race car. So I ran into some people that I know in there and it was kind of funny because I was wondering if I was gonna run into them and there was only like four people in the entire room. Four people and I walk in and then I turn around and I see them there and I'm like, yo, what's up? And it was kind of freaking random. So I voted, I'm pretty happy about it. I was actually kind of glad that I went in there and I had that true voter American experience. We had like the old school stuff in there apparently. Like the new stuff's apparently touch screen and that one that I had, I don't know if you could see it, but you have to basically like spin this dial and it spins you around to like the correct thing you want to vote for and then you press enter basically it was just an old outdated machine but I honestly thought it was like the coolest thing ever I'm so glad that I went in I'm glad that I voted and actually I was talking to a lot of my friends and none of my friends vote like literally none of them I don't understand all right so now I'm heading to Dell puppy talk and the reason I'm heading here is because I really wanted to try something that the link has been highly recommending to me for a long time and that is a cheeseburger. So the other day, the link said to me, you want a really good cheeseburger, man? Go to Del Taco, you won't be unimpressed. So I'm gonna go give it a shot. I don't believe him. Like, I don't even like Del Taco, but I mean a cheeseburger? We got the puppy cheeseburg. And this is what we got. Just a burger, cheese, and then some picks. This has gotta be the worst. The, the worst, the worst burger. Delinky, what, Delinky, what are you doing to me? All right, maybe, just maybe, their Del Scorcho will save the day. Let's let's make it a spicy boy burger, see if that does anything. I don't have high hopes for this either. Nope. All right, well, I've lost faith in humanity with that bad boy, but hopefully this'll at least revive it a little bit, I don't know. All right, I could dig this. This is good. I can't. I couldn't do it. I just couldn't. That's a nice puppy Prius, though. Ugh. Dude, there was so many people in there, and they're all like freaking out that I was talking to the camera. So I was like, uh, I don't want to get like the terrorist cops called on me or something. Now I have to add, I don't know why there was so many people in there because that place freaking sucks. What is that? That was the worst the worst burger that I've ever eaten in my entire life. Now I know, okay, they're tacos, they're not so bad. Like I've had them before and I talk a lot of crap. Probably a lot of them are actually pretty good. But why do you gotta make a burger and then have it suck? Like I don't even know how to explain that taste. It's just so gross. It's the worst. It, it, oh, oh. Seriously, fix your freaking burger and then maybe I'll come back. Like the milkshake was so good that if they had a good burger, I'd probably be back tonight but they freaking don't, they have a bad burger and I'm pissed. I hate the stupid freaking burger and the milkshake and the combo. And What's going on, Mrs. Bears? How you doing? Did you know that I missed you? Did you know that I missed you so much? Yeah, I didn't want to bring you because I didn't want you to sit there while I was in there. All the bears should have came and ate the rest of that cheeseburger for me because it was so gross that I had to throw it away. Oh, the bears is a good girl. Let's make another bears burrito. We got another bears burrito on a loose. There it is. The bears is probably a better tasting burrito than the burritos at Del Taco would taste because the bears is just such a cutie and the bears is a good girl. And if the bears was a burger, she would also taste better. Bless you, bears.
Oh, the bitch has got that crocodile today. The bitch has got the crocodile. Give it back, bitch. Give it back. Nom, 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 nom. Nom, 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 nom. Nom, 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 nom. This is mine. This is mine. Now go get it. Alright, so I've basically just been sitting around all day, mainly because I got hurt pretty bad the other day while I was dirt biking. Oh, oh, oh. Ow. Oh, oh. Oh. So that's going to be a future video. Actually, I'm going to show you a photo of it. Now, beware, if you don't want to see this, it could be kind of gross, I don't know. Skip ahead like 30 seconds from now. So I'm going to show you the injury and in three, Two, one, here it is. So yeah, I fell on my butt and basically I landed on the foot peg of my dirt bike and I messed myself up pretty bad. Now it's all bruised today and the thing is it just freaking hurts. Like I can barely even walk. I'm worried it's like infected or something. I asked a couple of people who know about that kind of stuff and they all said I was good. So we're gonna wait and find out. But if it keeps getting worse, I'm gonna have to go to the hospital, which I really don't want to do. And your bears is a pooper. Kiki! You're a very good girl, Bears, yeah. Yeah, you wrecked the grass, Bears. Look what you did. Where are you going? Okay, I don't really understand. Bears pooped and she kicked and I can't find it. Like, where is it? Literally, I don't see it. Like, it's not there. I don't understand what just happened. Bears, where is it? Where's your poop? What is going on? Like, are you okay? Okay, well, oh, what? Way back here? Why were you kicking over there? I'm stupid. Good girl, Bales. So that injury happened three days ago, and it's currently at its worst point that it's ever been. And now it's all bruised, which it wasn't bruised the first two and a half days, up until like noon today. All right, Bales, I got a very important question for you. Do you maybe by any chance want a couple of... Yummies? Everybody complaining about this food. First of all, leave me alone. And second of all, I do have her some new food coming along. No, you gotta wait. No. What is going on? What happened? What happened today? Bless you. So, I voted today, and it's later in the day now, it's dark outside, which actually doesn't mean a lot because it gets dark at four now, like four something. And basically, ow, it freaking hurts, man. The election results are in. And although it doesn't look like the results are in when I look at it, apparently according to all the news stations, there's enough votes that it can be determined what's going to happen. So apparently the U.S. House is going to go to the Democrats and the U.S. Senate is supposed to go to the Republicans. So it's going to be like a 50-50, like a 50-50 combo blend. Like if I were to cut the caffeinator or a cheeseburger, probably not a cheeseburger from Del Taco, like a, a better cheeseburger, like a cheeseburger from McDonald's or my face or basically anything directly in half, it'd be like a 50-50 split. And that's basically what we have today. We got one of the things going to the Repubs and one of the things going to the Dems. So that's what we got here. According to the news, I don't know if it's even freaking right because I don't want to stay up that late to find out if it's right. But more importantly than all of that, I have got some peanut butter toast being made for me and the bales. No, you can't have that yet. All right, check it out. This is going to be a tasty goblin. Bales, you can't have this, but I did get you a little bit of peanut butter on the knife. The bales loves the peanut butter on the knife. How is it, bales? Is it yummy? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to compare the official Papa Cleverson Bambino peanut butter sandwich to the Del Taco cheeseburger. It's not even a question. Del Taco, you got some learning to do and you can hit me up at any time if you want to be taught a thing or two about how to cook a sandwich. You know what? I want to give the Bells a piece because she's such a good girl today that I think she deserves a piece of the actual puppy sandwich. Alright, so we're going to do a good old down and now we're going to do a stay. And we're gonna do a... Thank you! Nom 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 nom. Well, I just freaking dropped my peanut butter and now I have to have tin foil or I don't even know what to do. Look, I cracked this stupid thing open and I mean, I can't have that on there. It's gonna get gross. So I put some tin foil on it and I'm just gonna put it in the fridge. 
That sucks. It's like a brand new freaking thing of peanut butter. Well, anyways, I know this video wasn't very eventful. I just felt like I needed to document my experience because I was going in to vote in person for the first time. It was completely unexpected. I was supposed to vote by mail. It would have been boring. I wouldn't have even talked about it. But I was excited that I got to go in. The best is just freaking out over here. Oh, the best is a good girl. But yeah, I just wanted to document the whole experience and I thought it was cool. And so for future elections, I'm definitely going to consider if I do have the time and opportunity to go in and vote in person because I don't know, it's just like a cool experience. I really am glad that I went in there and did that, at least this time. So with that, we want to thank you so much for watching and we will see you on the next one. <laughs>